Welcome back to Sports Edge. The uh, second half of the baseball season is underway, which had me thinking, what's Adam Greenberg up to? Because about four years ago, you, you got your one at bat in the big leagues. Your, your story is still amazes me to this day, How what happened 11 years ago. Uh, <sighs> just share the whole thing with me again. Well, um, it was quite an, a magical experience, obviously. Um, you know, I got called up in 2005, July 9, 2005, and had uh, an opportunity of a lifetime, Chicago Cubs. Uh, we were playing the Marlins down in Miami, and pinch hit in the ninth inning. My first at bat, I got a 92 mile an hour fastball in the back of my head, right, uh, right there. Um, and you know, it left me in, uh, in, in turmoil, to say the least. Uh, it took seven years with positional vertigo, vision issues, um, mild bouts of depression. Um, you know, it was uh, it, it was a trying time, but the the going from the Cubs, the Dodgers, the Royals, the Angels, the Reds, Holistic. Bridgeport, Bluefish, yeah. um, multiple surgeries in between that seven years. Um, you know, getting an opportunity with the with the Marlins, kind of serendipitous back with the Marlins in, yeah. uh, in 2012 was uh, pretty remarkable. And what what was that like? We were down there to, to cover your your one at bat. Uh, I know your family was down there. It was an exciting time for everybody probably the coolest experience that I might ever have in my life um, only because the fact that my story was covered the way that it was and it gave a lot of people uh, that whole second chance uh, perseverance um, you know on, on a large scale yeah. I think that was the more important piece for me is um, you know getting to share it with so many people and seeing so many people smile and say oh my god this is amazing and I, I feel like I can do anything now that, that that one pitch though to the back of the head kind of really changed the direction of your life my life I was a baseball player mm -hmm. uh, or an athlete I, I played baseball basketball and soccer but I was going to play major league baseball um, and then when I finally got that opportunity it's like this is what I'm gonna do for for the next 10 or 20 years. Right. Um, so getting hit the way that, that I did to think something other than baseball was gonna really have a huge impact of my life that I would have the same type of passion for, yeah. I'd probably say that's not really gonna happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I landed into uh, an opportunity um, through an injury. I, tore my rotator cuff and labrum, which doesn't sound like, hey, there's an opportunity <laughs> right. there. Um, but I, st I really got into nutrition, um, whole food nutrition, getting away from the drugs. I, I started a nutrition company called Lou Wrong Living. Mm -hmm. um, and, and being an entertainer for so long, because that's, that's what an athlete is. I mean, right. we're entertainers. Um, we dedicate our life to keeping in shape and having our bodies ready to perform. Uh, I wanted to take that same approach with the day-to-day -day person, the person who's just looking to have a quality of life. I don't want to say getting hit was a good thing that happened to you, but when you look at it now, I mean, do you, do you have a different view now? I mean, because you might not have gotten married when you did, you might not have, have your little guy, <laughs> Leo, who's in the studio, we'll, we'll meet him in a minute. Yeah. I mean, everything happens for a reason kind of thing, right? I'm a firm believer in that, and at the time, you never know. Um, you, you know, I was going through it as I'm a baseball player, I gotta get back, and this isn't the way that it's supposed to be. Fast forward to 2012 when I get the opportunity with the Marlins and the one at bat and going on the Today Show, coming on your show, going on CNN, yeah. um, being in front of millions of people telling my story. Um, it never probably would have happened if I was just another baseball player. Mm -hmm. Once again, as an entertainer, it was one thing, but now even with, with Lou Wrong Living, mm -hmm. existing, impacting tens of thousands of lives um, on a, how they live their life, their day to day. They can walk up the stairs better. They can play with their kids. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, uh, that is the blessing in disguise. Uh, how about this guy? Want to meet your uh, little guy? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is the future uh, Greenberg major leaguer. Yeah, this is, this is what it's all about, right? Yeah, it is. Um, can you introduce yourself? Can you say nice to meet you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to have you and Daddy in. <laughs> say bye. See you later. <laughs>